Hi, my name is Cedar George Parker. I'm with the Wilderness Committee, and today we're going to be talking about why it's so important to bring people out to, to really what's beautiful, and that's our land. And so today we're here with M, our campaign organizer out here in Victoria. And so, yeah, let's let's get started. What is our trail trip programs? So the Wilderness Committee has been doing trail trips since the late '80s. So a really long time. It's been one of our tactics that we've we've been doing. Yeah. For that long <laughs> okay. um, and the idea is to connect people with old growth forests and the importance of protecting them but also supporting nations with with ecotourism initiatives oh nice i like the yeah. ecotourism and so like one thing i want to know too is like what's your favorite part what, what do you love about this trail trip programs and i know i've mm -hmm. seen you on our website out there right there right in the field so what's mm -hmm. your favorite part I think for me, just witnessing people experience old growth forest is, is so amazing to me. And, and just having that connection with the land and also um, the people that are there, I think that's the most special part for me, just like meeting these really interesting folks from all over and them connecting with the land and, and the people. And the beautiful thing about um, these trail trips is is people connect with the land and the people and you know we we give them information about the old growth ecosystems and the importance of protecting it them and then they go back to the city sometimes and then they and then they become part of the movement and protecting old growth and that's like the most special part for me oh yeah <laughs> kind of sounds like they're in awe like, like to me it's like feeding your spirit or like you know like, like cleansing that good good energy right good dopamine yeah and so totally. yeah I, I can see why it's important for everybody but so why is this important to a wilderness committee um, for us it's, it's an important part in our in our fight to protect old growth so we believe that if you bring people to the land um, equip them with information about these ecosystems and the importance of protecting old growth um, and working in a group together um, on an important project that supports First Nations, um, that that leads to further action and mobilization once they get home to their communities, that they actually act further to protect old growth. Oh yeah, so it kind of kind of brings you right into there, huh? Like right right in the field, right to where it's going, because um, yeah, Brit British a lot of people will come, and um, you know, like, like like I when I came from Vegas, when I was used to live in Vegas, coming up here. And it's just a bunch of rocks and I come here and I, I honestly forget how big and beautiful the trees are and mm -hmm. how how these trees just give so much life to the forest and give so much life in the rain, how it mm -hmm. hits the mountains, brings us just so beautiful. And so, you know, it's always awesome to share the beauty with the people and yeah. especially with people who are somewhat experts and know the land. Yeah. And so who, who else do we do this with? Who are the other experts or who else? Like, do we have partners or what's going on with that? Yeah, yeah, we have several different partners. We work, obviously, I mentioned before, um, earlier that we work with First Nations communities. Um, so we work the, with the Colloquiate and the Ahouse at First Nation. Um, and then we also work with community groups like Friends of Carmona Walbran. We work with the Intercultural Association, which is an organization that supports immigrant and refugees. And we also work with Color the Trails, which is a BIPOC outdoor group based in the Lower Mainland. Oh, sweet. So it sounds like we work with all different types of people. Yeah. Uh, that, that's awesome. So, yeah. so people can also get an opportunity to get to know people of the land and community around BC. So it's getting mm -hmm. to know the land and the people around here. I, I like that. Yeah. And so... So people are probably wondering, like, where, where are the trips happening this year or the, or the upcoming trips in the future? Yeah, for sure. So this year we did trips to Flores Island in the Housett Territory. We went to Mears Island in Colloquiate Territory. We went to the Central Walburn Valley, or Cahex, um, in Pachida Territory. Oh, okay. um, so those were the, yeah, the three trips that we, that we did. Oh, oh. and then the, the last one was the, our day trips to Coxila. Um, which is in Couch and Tribes territory. Oh, nice! Yeah. So it sounds like we got a, so it sounds like a lot of diversity around where we're going. Yeah, I like that. And um, kind of who joins these trips? Um, it's I mean it's everyday folks that from all different backgrounds, diverse backgrounds. It's not necessarily folks that have a lot of backcountry camping experience or anything like that. So it's it's a very diverse kind of group. Um, basically, we have different 
levels of trips um, to, to make it more accessible for different physical abilities. So you can pick a trip that kind of fits your, your fitness level and your needs. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Cool. So it sounds like it's really like getting people, um, seeing where you're at, seeing how much you want to know, how extreme it is or mm -hmm. how chill. And so people could come in and just really enjoy the land. Yeah. Cause I also like bringing like I always, my grandma's getting a little old and, but she'll, but I always bring her into the land. Right. And, mm -hmm. and I always help her out. Whereas if like some of my cousins who are younger and fit, we can go right up the mountain and pick those medicines. And yeah. I think that's so important to, I think it's just so beautiful that we look out for everybody to come to enjoy this, yeah. right? And it's been something that we've been working on throughout the years is improving our program and, and trying to make it more accessible for for folks of different income levels, diverse backgrounds, oh. um, all of that. So that's really important to us um, to try and make it the most like inclusive and um, accessible for everybody. Awesome, yeah. I love that. And so how can people support this program? Like how can people really get give in, you know? Um, so there's several different ways that come on a trip. <laughs> That's one of the ways is being a part of our program, sharing our program. So we have a lot of information on our program that can be shared around. If you know people that want to be a part of it, um, share that with your friends and family. Um, but one of the best ways, if you're not able to join one of the trips is to donate to that program. Um, and that you can do on the wilderness committee website. Awesome. Absolutely. Great. So, Talking about the website, so let's talk about where we can learn more about the about Wilderness Committee and our trail building program. Like, can we learn from the website or yeah. email, sign up for emails, or let, what do you got to say on that? Yeah, so we have, all of our registration goes through our website, <clears throat> um, but when, when the program goes live in the spring, that's posted all over social media, all of our social media channels, so Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and it's on our website. And then folks that are on our email list get a little bit of an extra heads up through through our email um, alert system. So they'll find out first, yeah. Sweet, absolutely awesome. Like, um, so for me, it just sounds like getting out there into the land really, really brings the spirits up of the people. Mm -hmm. And in turn, when you love something, you want to protect it, right? Yeah. It sounds like that. Like you're coming in here, loving it and protecting it. For sure. Is there any last words you want to say? Like before um, we, we wrap it up? Yeah, I just want to say like, there's some volunteers that never have even been to an old growth forest. And I think that's the most amazing thing um, for me to, to witness, but also for them to experience, you know? Um, seeing someone interact um, in that ecosystem for the first time is so amazing. Like it's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful thing. And it's really impactful for those volunteers that get that opportunity to give back and be, you know, in those ecosystems for, you know, a few days at a time because we have multi-day program um, where people are actually like camping, you know, in that old growth forest for days and and doing hard work to, to give back to the indigenous communities. So I think it's a really valuable experience for everyone. Wow, sounds beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. 100% when you're talking about that reminds me of me bringing my little brother to the water and you know, teaching him how to catch salmon and fish and, mm. and now he does it better than me. Right. <laughs> and so that, that's what the, what's yeah. so beautiful is that I know that people who came on this trip came out and said, yeah, let's, let's protect this. Yeah. And I think that's, that's where the beauty is, is that this is worth protecting. For right? sure. And there's people that have joined our program that have gone on to like start their own little trail building um, program, oh, you know? Beautiful. So like amazing things come out of this program where people are just kind of starting their own thing and mm -hmm. they get really inspired. So yeah, it's, it's really incredible. All right. Does mm -hmm. that sound like a good place to, to wrap it up? Or yeah, you feel good? Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. This, is, this has been a really great conversation. Yeah. Um, yeah, once again, this is Wilderness Committee. You know, we're here with M, Cedar. Add us on our social medias. Come on our website. Add us on our new TikTok account. And yeah, thank you very much. Have and a come nice on a trip. Day. Come on a trip. <laughs>